Hello, and welcome to Coding 2 at General McLean High School. My name is Jeremy Reed, and I'll be the instructor for this course. First, allow me to tell you a little about myself. In 2003, I graduated from Penn State Barron with a Bachelor's of Science degree in Computer Engineering, and in 2008, I received my Master's of Education in Middle and Secondary Instruction from Edinburgh University. I have been teaching mathematics and computer science courses for the past 13 years, 12 of which have been at General McLean High School. In my spare time, I enjoy skiing with friends and running obstacle course races. For students that will be attending this course in person, my classroom is located in room 503, which is the computer lab right outside the library in the 500 hall at the high school. Some students will be attending this course virtually. I can be reached by phone at 814-273-1033, extension 1503. I can also be reached by email at jeremyreed at generalmcclain.org. Students are able to reach me by email, Schoology, or Microsoft Teams. Coding 2 is a nine-week course where students will expand their coding skills to start thinking more like an app developer. Students will build a set of creative tools as they explore powerful coding concepts that professional developers use. They will learn about graphics and coordinates, they'll be able to manipulate images, and they'll combine these techniques with touch events to paint artistic shapes in space. Students will explore event handlers using real events such as finger movements or taps to trigger their code. There are seven units that we will be covering in Coding 2. They are Objects and Views, Events and Handlers, Arrays, More Events and Handlers, Functions as Arguments, Return Types and Outputs, and finally Classes and Components. Students will be using their school-issued iPad for the majority of this course. Some of the apps that they will be using are Swift Playgrounds, Schoology, Notability, Pages, and Microsoft Teams. Other apps may be required as the course progresses. Each unit in Coding 2 is divided into four sections, and each section is worth 25% of the student's grade. The first section is Learn. In this section, students will learn what the concept is, explore how it relates to things they do all the time, and complete an activity that deepens their understanding of the coding concept and its reaction to everyday life. In the Try section, they will practice their problem solving and critical thinking skills through coding with a few selected puzzles and activities from Swift Playgrounds. For each, they will be guided through four stages, identify the goal, experiment, learn syntax, and test and improve. In the Apply section, students will create something of their own through code. There are no right or wrong answers here. They will just see how far their coding skills can take them. And in the last section, Connect, students will complete activities that introduce them to app design concepts that professional developers use when they create apps. They will also learn about important technologies and coding components that power apps for iPhone and iPad. In this course, it is important that students be on time. This means being in their seat and ready to work when the class starts. Students need to be prepared for class. They should be completing all of their assignments and bringing all of their materials to class every day. Students need to be responsible for their actions and they need to respect others. Bullying and disrespect will not be tolerated in this course. Students need to be ready to learn and ask questions whenever they're having difficulties. And remember, using apps, videos, or copying from their peers isn't learning, and students found cheating will receive zeros for that portion of work. If at any time you have questions or concerns about the course or how your student is doing, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I am looking forward to working with you and your student during the 2020-2021 school year. Have a great day.